Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Fighters are usually pushed to their limits, sometimes even beyond. To maintain integrity in every setting, these machines undergo a rigorous testing process before they are released into service. Out of the many tests carried out, wind tunnel tests are considered a momentous milestone as they garner critical aerodynamic data. Engineers exploit the collected data to improve aerodynamic performance, such as lift and drag, for better fuel efficiency and stability of the model. Arnold Engineering and Development Center, located at Arnold Air Force Base in Tennessee, houses three propulsion wind tunnel test facilities. During the store separation test carried out within a wind tunnel, the aircraft model is placed atop a strut upside down, and a model of a missile, bomb, or drop tank is attached to a movable sting. When the desired conditions are met, the sting moves the store away from the aircraft, replicating an in-flight store separation. Engineers exploit the data gathered during store separation to improve the design and attachment mechanisms. Successful completion of wind tunnel tests is one step closer to manufacturing real aircraft. Once the prototype is manufactured, it undergoes a multitude of tests to prove its operational capability around the globe. The F-35 Lightning II, the newest fighter jet to join the U.S. Air Force, underwent all sorts of tests until the declaration of initial operational capability in 2016. The F-35B, the short takeoff and vertical landing variant, underwent all possible weather conditions on Earth. With temperatures ranging from 120 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 40 degrees. The rain frame within the main chamber created all types of rainy conditions. while a set of solar arrays battered the fighter with shimmering heat waves. The main thing that we're looking at uh, during the hot testing is how the, the electronics or avionics respond to being exposed to such uh, high temperatures. We didn't really see any major uh, issues during uh, hot testing, uh, which was good. And actually the uh, thermal management system on the aircraft uh, performed better than expected. My, my favorite part was uh, just seeing uh, the setup in the lab with the solo lamps and uh, being able to go in and experience that extreme temperature and then uh, sitting in the control room and uh, walk walking the pilots through uh, all of our testing was just a very interesting and rewarding experience. Testing the weapon system of a new jet is the most crucial part of all tests. Trying the GAU-22A Gatling gun of the F-35 Lightning II was another pivotal test the jet underwent before declaring its operational capability. The F-35A has its four-barrel Gatling gun hidden inside the left wing route to preserve the stealth of the aircraft. The gun door opens to fire along with the vent door that expels flammable gun gas from the compartment. Engineers tested the gun with a few firing spells on the ground and then experimented with it in flight. A 
Apart from the aircraft and its systems, aircraft shelters also play a crucial role in operations. With that said, tests are carried out by the Air Forces for safe shelter operations using sensitive microphones, sensors, and air quality monitors. An acoustic emission test is one such test that determines how safe the operation of an aircraft within the shelter is. Out of all types of tests, testing the engines of a jet is the most rigorous and crucial phase. Usually, an engine is tested via the accelerated mission testing method, which subjects the engine to accelerated and intensified usage. AMT takes an engine through its complete life cycle of operations in a compressed time frame. This test helps engineers garner information about engine performance, failure rates, the effects of environmental factors, and stress levels. Ultimately, engineers make informed decisions to refine the engine design for improved performance and reliability. Once an engine completes its testing cycle, it's dismantled and subjected to an analytical condition inspection to detect any anomalies. The engine test cell, or hush house, is where all these extreme tests occur. The engine is placed atop a thrust stand for the test. Air supply compressors provide the required airflow to the engine intake to simulate flight conditions. Screens are placed in front of the engine on special occasions to simulate rain and icing conditions. As the name implies, a sea level test cell is used to recreate the temperature, air density and pressure at sea level during engine operations. While most fighters have gone through all of these tests in their development phases, the F-35 Lightning II is believed to be the most technologically advanced jet to go through a testing spell in the recent past. Out of the three variants of the Joint Strike Fighter, the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing variant is an engineering marvel that challenged preconceived notions in the aeronautical industry. Unlike other fighters, the F-35's construction was extensively influenced by novel technological trends. Lockheed Martin utilized the Fastener Insertion Livelink System, or FILS, to ease the backbreaking task of attaching the aircraft skin to the structure. As the attachment is done via fasteners, mechanics had to mark the type and location of each fastener against a blueprint. The FILS system projects on the skin pinpointing the fastener location along with the type and quantity required. Apart from the state-of-the-art technologies incorporated into the F-35, its powerful engine extensively contributes to the formidability of the jet. The F-135 engine delivers a thrust of over 40,000 pounds with a low observable heat signature. The advanced damage tolerance design and prognostic health monitoring systems built into the engine uplift its operability by keeping failure rates to a minimum. 
With the more complex design of the F-35B STOVL model, the F-135 engines powering the Marine Corps variant come with slight changes. An integrated lift fan propulsion system developed by Rolls-Royce provides the greatest share of vertical thrust. As the name suggests, the lift fan assembly has two counter-rotating fans. A drive shaft and a clutch connected to the low pressure spool of the engine rotate the lift fans. The three bearing swivel module is fitted to the end of the jet pipe to redirect engine thrust. The nozzle could swivel 95 degrees down in just 2.5 seconds when the vertical lift is demanded. The remaining vertical thrust is provided by the three bearing swivel module and two roll posts mounted on the wings. The prime function of the roll posts is to provide roll control during vertical liftoff maneuvers. During STOVL operations, the lift fan door opens, exposing the lift fans, while the air intake door opens to admit air for the engines. Soaring the skies aboard an F-35, engulfed with state-of-the-art weapons, cutting-edge sensors and lift augmentation devices is a true test of skill. With that said, F-35 pilots are required to go through a rigorous training process before getting their hands busy with an F-35. To begin the training, Student pilots are sent to academic training centers to master theories inside and out. In the ATC classroom, pilots go through interactive training sessions with hands-on training. Once the theoretical parts are done, pilots get the chance to hone their skills by flying the F-35 flight simulator. A flight simulator is a go-to option to begin flight training, as it offers a risk-free and economical means for pilots to get their first hands-on experience in an F-35 cockpit. A flight simulator could recreate hostile situations that a pilot does not have any chance to experience during real-world training. More importantly, such austere situations can be recreated at any time until the pilot gains confidence. The same is true for practicing steep and high-risk maneuvers. When flying the F-35, especially in a mission like air combat maneuvering, situational awareness is the key. To address this concern, the F-35 pilots fly with a custom-fitted helmet that projects mission-critical information onto the visor. As the helmet is integrated with the distributed aperture system, the pilot gets a 360-degree sweep looking through the aircraft. The visual targeting system built into the aircraft allows pilots to target bogies by simply looking at them through the visor. The F-35 Lightning II, the most technologically advanced aircraft, has gone through piles of testing during its design and manufacturing phases. Once the fighter is ready to serve, Pilots push their limits to embrace the controls in the F-35 cockpit. As the famous saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes the collective efforts of an entire world to introduce a new jet to the global fleet. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.
See you next time.